Hi, I'm Bo Wang, medical student from Shanghai Jiao Tong University and Regent Hospital. I'm the lead author of this review article. Photodynamic therapy is a popular treatment modality that is widely used in the clinic. Compared with other conventional therapies, PDT not only shares a similar efficacy, it also has less side effects such as agreeable cosmetic outcomes. However, during the course of PDT, most patients experience burning pain at various intensities. Some patients even have to stop the treatment. Pain remains the top obstacle that prevents PDT application to all patients. In this study, we reviewed recent literatures ranging from basic research to clinical trials to explore and discuss the influencing factors, clinical measurements, and underlying causes of pain. Our goal is to tailor PDT and analgesic protocols for each patient accordingly to minimize pain experience. First, we found among all influencing factors, fluence rate and total light dose most consistently correlates with pain. We further proposed a threshold theory. A positive correlation is found below certain threshold, which is the rate of 60 mV per square centimeter and a dose of 50 J per square centimeter. When threshold is surpassed, pain intensity no longer increases. Additionally, we carefully compared recent updates on pain management strategies, and we suggested that cold air analgesia and low irradiant light sources, such as IPLs and daylight PDTs, represent the best current options. Finally, we discussed the possible mechanism of pain experience during PDT. Reactive oxygen species, trip channels, and inflammatory responses are key mediators in pain. Unfortunately, our rash as the main manufacturer of PDT also contributes to pain experience. An optimal local concentration of ROS will result in a fine balance between increased therapeutic effect and limited pain experience. Pain is the main concern for dermatologists when it comes to PDT. Each patient has different pain threshold. Dermatologists should be aware that pain is a multifactorial event, and so individualization on pain management during PDT is highly recommended. For patients without history of severe pain responses, Cold air analgesia with an extended treatment time should be used at the first line measurement. For patients with history of severe pain response or intolerable to canonical pain measurements, daylight PDT should be considered. Thanks for watching, and we hope you would enjoy reading our review article.